Hey, I'm Brian Spinsky from Lost Silver Productions, and welcome to this week's edition of the game show Talking Fun Lightning Rounds. And yes, I am still shocked that there are 78 bathrooms in Buckingham Palace. Any of you guys watch Win Sanity last night and find out that number? Just why? Somebody tell me why. Okay, you know what? Just forget. Let's get to the real news this week. <laughs> Let's get the big news out of the way first. You probably heard it yesterday, but in case you didn't, ABC issued a press release yesterday announcing that all four of their classic game show revivals, To Tell the Truth, Celebrity Family Feud, The $100,000 Pyramid, and Match Game have been renewed. The four shows have averaged 5.2, 8.2, 7.7, and 6.5 million viewers in their respective runs so far. Well, this is big news for classic game show fans. Now, I personally admit, like a lot of the hardcores out there, I'm a little surprised that To Tell the Truth got revived as opposed to the others. And I know that's probably the one out of the four that the hardcores have been the most critical of. But either way, it's a win because it means all the classics are coming back and... Believe me, it's already been causing a lot of specu started a lot of speculation as to what revival ABC is going to try to do next. I know you're trying to get in my mind, so you probably know what I'm thinking. No, I'm not even discussing it. So just leave it alone. It is what it is, and believe me, we are happy. But speaking of talking about the hard course. <laughs> Most of the hardcore fans out there in the world of game shows have taken up residence at a website called Game Show Forum. It's a community message board that used to be run for many years by Bill Cullen historian Matt Ottinger. Hey Matt, how you doing out there? Well, anyway, there's been a lot of talk recently over the past week or so, and it regards something that we did there on the site many years ago. Ten years ago, Bill Dwyer hosted a summer-long marathon on Game Show Network of the 50 greatest game shows of all time. Now, many on Game Show Forum had some interesting debate about some of GSN's choices, and also harkens back to a similar list of the 50 greatest that was done by TV Guide five years earlier in 2001. Anyway, the marathon sparked people on game show forum, including myself, to make their own lists of the 50 greatest game shows ever, which we all compiled together to create an official fans list. Well, it's been 10 years now since that list, and some of the forum faithful want to revisit that countdown and see not only how some shows have held up over time, but are there any new classics that have come along in the last 10 years. So this now is where we turn the discussion over to you. What do you think are the 50 greatest game shows of all time? And out of those, do you feel that any of those 50 greatest are new classics of the past 10 years? I can think of a couple that I already know are going to make my list, but let's see what you think. Let us know in the comments section below as to what you think some of the 50 greatest are and if some of them are new classics of the last 10 years. And if you want to get in on the official vote, head over to www.gameshowforum.org. If you don't have an account there already, sign up, get one, and submit your votes for the discussion. They're taking votes until August 22nd and as like last time, they're going to compile the brand new list together. So let them know what you think. Let's bring in even more fans than ever to make the new official list of all time. Now, as for me with regards to the 50 greatest, as I just said, I can almost bet that one of those new classics that's going to appear on my list would have to be Sasuke, otherwise known as Ninja Warrior, which became American Ninja Warrior for us when we started our own version. Now, for us here in the States, we've been strongly familiar with Ninja Warrior now for 10 years as well, because the now defunct video game channel G4 brought over the subtitled versions of Sasuke and presented it as Ninja Warrior here in the States, and that's where all the fans with it got started. So they began doing that. It spurred us to make our own version, which started as a reality series to send contestants over to Japan 
That was the original American Ninja Warrior Ideas, and then it ultimately spurred us to make our own tournament here on American soil. Well, G4 is long gone. It's now become the Esquire Network, and they've continued to work in conjunction with NBC, as you know, to present American Ninja Warrior, but we have not seen the Japanese Sasuke tournaments for several years. Well, all that is about to change. Esquire has just inked a new licensing deal with Tokyo Broadcasting System to bring Sasuke back to the States. And to celebrate, they'll be running a marathon of classic Sasuke tournaments all Labor Day weekend, starting on Saturday, September 3rd at 7 a.m. and running all the way through Tuesday, September 6th at 4 a.m. They've also announced that starting next year, we will see tournaments from recent years never aired in America before, starting with Sasuke 28 and ultimately going into the current Sasuke Rising tournaments. If you've never gotten to see how the originals do it, now's your chance. A couple weeks ago, I invited all of you at kind of the last minute to join us in supporting the Game Show Marathon, which was being conducted by the good folks over at Buzzer Blog. That took place a couple of weekends ago. They were raising money for Child's Play, which gets video games to kids in hospitals to help them be able to you know, get over the, the strifes of being bedridden and things like that. Well, I'm happy to say that that Game Show Marathon was a rousing success. They raised over $6,200 for Child's Play, and if any of you out there contributed, we're really thankful for you for that. Well, it's time to get ready to be a part of the donation process again and lend your support because now we're heading out west this time. The good folks over at Home Game Enterprises, with a Z, they're making their own turn at it. They're going to be running Game Show Marathon West. This is their third annual outing of conducting 24-hour game show action, and this year all their proceeds are going to the Children's Hospital of Los Angeles. The action will start Saturday, August 13th at 3 p.m. Eastern and go, as advertised, for 24 straight hours through the night into the morning. To find out more about Game Show Marathon West and to donate to the Children's Hospital cause, as I know I'll be, go to Home Game Enterprises with a Z, Dot com slash marathon. Please be as generous to them as you were to the Buzzer Blog crew. And on the subject of these classic game show reproductions, those of you in the New York area, and if you're anime fans too, you're going to get to see us at Lost Silver Productions doing our thing coming up in two weeks, right in the heart of Times Square at Liberty City Anime Con. It's going to be taking place right at the Crown Plaza Hotel. The convention runs from Friday, August 19th through Sunday, August 21st. We're going to be there on Friday and Saturday on the 19th and the 20th. We're going to be doing three hours of classic game shows. Hopefully next week, we're going to get to give a lineup of exactly what games we're going to be doing. We're still in the finalizing processes, so stay tuned to the lightning round and to convention attention, and we'll tell you more about it. And if you're interested in coming to the convention, there's still some tickets left, so get, get them now before they sell out. And other than that, that's going to be it for right now. We'll tell you more about this and other game show news next week. Until then, I'm Brian Spinsky from Lost Silver Productions. And, oh, yes, don't forget, if you like this, please make sure to like, share, and subscribe here on YouTube as well as on Facebook at facebook.com slash lostsilverproductions. And please support our Patreon. Please uh, donate to us at patreon.com slash lostsilver, all of which are in the links below. And you get a chance to score some cool swag. Hopefully, please, we... We would love the business. That's the bottom line. Until then, now, I'm Brian Spinsky from Lost Silver Productions, and you have survived the lightning rounds. And so have I. <sighs>